Two non-negative angles are supplementary if they add up to 180 degrees. Penis. Let's find the supplementary angle of 34 degrees. In other words, we're looking for whatever number is gonna give us 180 degrees when we add it to 34. That's our mission. What number plus 34 gives us 180? If this is 34 degrees, we're asking for this obtuse angle here. It's obtuse because it's greater than 90 degrees, but it's less than 180 degrees. Another way to figure this out is just to ask yourself, what is 180 minus 34? That'll give us the difference here that we need. Okay, well there's a lot of different ways you could do this. I think the easiest way in this case is just to say 18 minus three. Well, that's 15. And zero minus four, oh, that's just minus four. So in other words, you're gonna get 150 minus four, which is also known as 146. That's gonna be your obtuse angle here, or supplementary angle to the original number that we started with, 34. 146 plus 34, yep. When you add those turkeys together, you're gonna get 180 degrees. What is the supplementary angle of 112 degrees? In other words, that guy. We need to know, when you add a number to 112, uh, the supplementary angle, whatever that is, it's gotta give you 180 degrees. So that's a fancy way of saying, we need to know what 180 minus 112 is. Oh, well this is very easy, don't worry about it. 100 take away 100. Nothing. Eight tens minus one ten, that's gonna give us seven tens, and then you have minus two here. So seven tens minus two. That's just a fancy way of saying 68. Whoop. 68 is the supplementary angle here to 112. Because when you add those two together, you get 180 degrees. No. 90 degrees. What is the supplementary angle? Hey, this is a trick question, isn't it? What number plus 90 gives us 180? Uh, that's right. Bob's your uncle. 90 degrees. It's its own supplementary angle. If you don't see that clearly, 90 plus 90 is a whoopin'. 180 degrees. So it is its own supplementary angle. Banana! Who needs to know this kind of math? Well, I'm glad you asked. Civil engineers. That's right, class. They're the folks who build roads and bridges, buildings, dams and levees, water supply systems, wastewater treatment plants, airports, railways, bananas, tunnels, ports and arbors, landfills, retaining walls, sports stadiums, shopping centers, public parks, and recreational facilities. Yeah! Are supplementary angles useless? We'll rate this one five avocados. Definitely not useless. What is the supplementary angle of zero degrees? Mash, hey, this is our trick question. The difference between zero and 180 degrees is just 180 degrees. Ha <laughs> ha, that's a trick question. So 180 degrees and zero degrees are supplementary. Remember, the definition says that you have two angles that are supplementary. As long as they are non-negative and when you add them together, whatcha, you get 180 degrees. So zero and 180 degrees, haha, <laughs> they definitely work. Hey Tree, you know what else to supplement this video? Joining the Greater Gators class. I don't want you chasing gators in real life. That's bad business. But you should talk to your mom, dad, or Uncle Bob on how you can join the Greater Gators class. The link is below. We're building a community of problem solvers. People just like you. Hope to see you there. God bless. Find the supplementary and complementary angle of eight. Okay, we wanna know what number when you add it to eight is gonna give you 180. That's what we're looking for, class. What number plus eight gives you 180? In other words, you're looking at the difference of 180 
and good old eight. Well, this is not too hard. Go backwards from 180 eight times and you'll get to 172. So that's the supplementary angle. Now, to find the complementary angle, if you had watched the previous video on complementary angles, you're looking for the difference of 90 and eight to find the complementary angle. Well, this one's not too hard. You walk backwards from 90, eight steps, and you'll get good old 82. 82 is the complementary angle of eight. The supplementary and complementary angle of 145. Oh, well, that's another trick question. This is an obtuse angle, 145. So it's got no complementary angle. It's too big. It's greater than 90. Now, the supplementary angle. Now that we can figure out. What number plus 145 gives us 180 degrees? In other words, you're asking for the difference of 180 and 145. And if you can solve that, you're in business. All right, here's the good news. 100, take away 100, gone. Eight, take away four. I bet you know that one too. That's just good old 40, but you are subtracting five. So it's very important not to forget that you have to subtract the five. All right, walk it backwards from 40. You get 39, 38, 37, 36, 35. That is the supplementary angle to 145. And you can check that out. It's real easy. Let's just convert this into an addition problem like so. 145 plus 35. That's gonna be, sure enough, 180. And Bob's your uncle. One of the supplementary and complementary angles to one no million. One non million? Ha! This is a joke. This number is too big. It's way bigger than 180 or 90. Hmm. <laughs> Banana! Welcome to the bonus section. What is the supplementary angle of minus five? Hey, this is a trick question.